All right, we've got a two-way table here. Uh, two-way table means we've got two different variables and we're comparing the results of those variables. One of them is whether a student is in band or not in band, and the other one is whether they're a girl or a boy. And so when you read the table, this group right here breaks them down into those variables separately. So for example, girls in band are 10, girls not in band are 7, boys in band are 9, boys not in band are 2. So the totals in each column and each row represent the totals of the variables themselves. So the 10 girls in band and the 7 girls not in band create 17 total girls. And same thing for the boys, 9 and 2 makes 11. Now going to columns, you can do the exact same thing. The total number of students in band are 10 girls and 9 boys for 19 total students in band. And not in band are 7 girls and 2 boys for 9 total. Now you can add each of those total columns for the total number of students in general. That would be boys and girls, band, not in band, everything all together. So 19 in band, 9 not in band gives you 28 total kids, which is ex exactly the same number as if you did the boys and the girls, which is 17 gir girls total and 11 boys total for 28 total students that way as well. Okay. So knowing all of that, they're just asking questions based on that data. So how many girls are in band? Well, we can go to the girls, we can go to the, the band row or column here, and we see that it's 10. So there are 10 girls in band. What percentage of students are not in band? Well, let's look at not in band. Seven girls and two boys for a grand total of nine not in band. Now percentage means we need to know how many total there are. So nine students are not in band. There are 28 total students. That's that bottom right column there, or row, in either way. So what is 9 out of 28? That is my percentage. 9 out of 28, 32%. If I'm going to round that to the nearest percent. And are boys or girls more likely to be in band? Explain your reasoning. All right, so more likely. I guess we would say higher percentage. Is there a higher percentage of boys in band than girls in band? So let's look. We've got in, boy, uh, in, in girls, we've got 10 in band out of 17 total girls. So girls, 10 out of 17, 59%. I'm just going to put that over here in the margin right now because I need to explain myself. Now boys, 9 boys are in band out of 11 total. So 82%, if we round that up to the nearest percent, of boys are in band. So if you say, are boys or girls more likely to be in band, I would argue that boys are more likely because... 82% of them are, while only 59% of girls are in band. So I'm going to say boys because 82% of them are in band and only 59% of girls are.